hope you guys are all well by the grace of God. Welcome back to Ernestina's Kitchen. If you are a subscriber, please welcome. If you're new, please, you're also welcome. I want to take a minute to thank my supporters, viewers, and my subscribers for an amazing job they are doing. I am truly, truly grateful. You guys will never know how much I appreciate you guys. God will bless you guys all abundantly. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Okay, this afternoon we are making lunch. Guess what we are making? We are making pepper, chicken, and shrimps. That's right. Actually, uh, this was requested by a very dear friend of mine. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. And also, you will do it with your friends and family, guys. So, guys, fasten your seatbelts. Let's get cooking. All right, guys. So, thanks again. Truly grateful. Here are our beautiful ingredients guys so here are all our bell peppers i'm using all the colors okay all the colors that there are four colors with bell peppers i think we are using that Amazing. um we have our purple onions here we have some white onion and also charlotte so we have our button mushrooms here we have a lemon that we are going to use to clean the chicken okay we have sesame oil we are going to use cornstarch for thickening. This is this is a little bit different, okay? This is coconut and avocado oil together. We are going to try and see. But you know what? Any oil that you have, butter oil, it is fine. and stop bunny pepper here we have our minced garlic we have our oyster sauce this is poultry seasoning this is minced ginger this is seafood seasoning and also black pepper this is also garlic sauce that it goes really nicely with um nicely with chicken and this right here is soya sauce hey guys so this is what i'm going to use chicken and also with the lemon this one i'm going to leave it on for five minutes wash it off then i'm going to use the lemon leave it on for five minutes and then also wash it off all right guys so i am going to clean everything then we're going to start making our pepper shrimps and chicken all right guys as you can see i have cleaned all the chicken very nicely vinegar and lemon and then what I did was I used um, just paper towel like this and then I just took the excessive water from it okay so that when we fry it up it's not gonna be too uh, too much water even though sometimes when you fry even most of the time I want to when I'm frying I want it to be very dry but for some because the meat and stuff I have its own water when you're cooking it so it's still gonna bring water anyway no matter what so just like this okay that's how I'm cutting it. If this is hard for you, the best is to have a very sharp um, knife, okay? Then you'll be okay. So let's see about this much, just like that, okay? All right. All right, guys, as you can see, I have cleaned my chicken very well. I cut it up the pieces the way I want it. So now I am going to put one teaspoon of black pepper, just like so, okay? Then I have here my pottery seasoning I'm gonna put on just like that okay and then I have my soya sauce so this um the black pepper was one teaspoon this one here is three tablespoons okay and then any type of poultry seasoning is fine all right and this one here is uh about three tablespoons of some um, soya sauce okay just gonna put on just like so and then we are going to mix it in very well. Just like that. Just mix it very, very well. Okay, so now. 
now we have guys right, this is about two tablespoons of curry okay any type of curry is just fine okay I'm not gonna add salt because the soya sauce have plenty salt in it so I have tasted the salt level and it is fine so now we all right guys so we are ready to also season our shrimps we have this is a seafood seasoning and this is a black pepper okay I'm gonna put it on just like so We have our pan here fried pan has is very extremely 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 hot that's exactly how we want it now we are going to use try our new oil how about this see how it's like smoking that's exactly what we want okay adding in my chicken just like that have our chicken here this is chicken breast okay so you don't cook chicken breast too much maybe i'll say about five minutes but when you cook chicken breast too long what happens it becomes very dry and very hard to eat it have the minced garlic here we're gonna uh separate into two but some is gonna go on the on the shrimp so just like this okay minced garlic i mean some minced ginger also about this much okay very very well okay oh it's not so good okay so now as you can see look how beautiful this is it's been five minutes so i'm adding my salad and my onion and it just like that okay beautiful Yes, I did. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Yes, I did, guys. Another one minute. Then we're going to work on our shrimp. Okay. We have our chicken here. It's ready. It's done. Now we're working on our shrimp. So a little bit oil. I'll say. This about maybe uh, one tablespoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. The onion. Just like so. Okay. And we are also going to start. I'm gonna add in. This is minced ginger. Okay. Yes. This is minced garlic. Just like that. It's not so good, guys. Oh, look at that amazing. Guys, so with the shrimp right here, I'm just gonna add one tablespoon, no, one teaspoon of um, lemon. Okay, just like so. Okay, I think I have some seed in here somewhere. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, I guess somebody's gonna eat seed today. <laughs> just like that. Okay. Guys, look at that, it looks so amazing. Hey guys, my daughter just told me this shrimp tastes like red lobster. Wow, that's amazing. So this is done, this took about two minutes to fry it up. Now we're gonna add it to the chicken and then we're gonna go with our, our vegetables. So I'm adding on just like so. Look at that. Wow, look at it, so amazing guys. So we have the pot here, don't wash it out. It's from the shrimps. We add a little bit, one tablespoon of our oil. We're gonna get go with our purple onion. Get fried up. Using our button mushroom. Goes inside there just like that. Guys, you know me and mushrooms. I love my mushrooms. I don't think that anything I cook, I don't, I put, I don't put mushrooms. Almost everything I cook. I put mushrooms. I don't know. I just love the texture, the taste, everything. There's not much taste, but I just love it. <laughs> so now we are ready to put all our bell pepper. Mm -hmm. 
and the colors so amazing. Wow, it's amazing. All right, guys. So we're gonna make a fire for maybe a minute or two because we want our vegetables remain crunchy. So our chicken and shrimps here you remember this we're gonna add it on just like look at how beautiful this is just like that wow amazing look at that you can just eat it like this okay just like this wow I love it I love it. I can't wait. But me, I don't still don't eat meat. So I'm just gonna have to munch on the shrimps and the veggies. <laughs> have here our cornstarch. Some people mix it with water, but me, I'm just gonna put it on like this, okay? Because I don't want my thing to be too watery. Just this will be about two tablespoons of cornstarch. As you can see, I am mixing it through. This is gonna bring everything all together. If there's a lot of liquid, it will help it thicken. Yeah, that's right, guys. Just like that. Look at that. This is practically done. We have our Scott bunny pepper and habanero peppers. It's gonna go in like this. Okay. We're gonna mix it through. Wow, this one it tastes so 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 good. Okay, guys, I forgot to add a couple of things. This is leeks. Okay, I forgot to add it in the ingredients. Hazel also forgot. Sorry about that. This is cilantro. Okay, just there were too many things, so I kind of forgot. All right, so now we have our sesame we're going to use about two tablespoons of sesame just like that mix our basil cilantro beautiful right guys yes wow look at that it's amazing our pepper chicken and shrimps Ah, damn. look at that guys it's so amazing oh this is good this can go with anything you want it to go with okay, you can eat it by itself you can eat it with rice spaghetti potatoes anything wow right guys so as you can see everything is ready to go so now these are the things that pepper chicken and shrimps can go with okay we have our tortilla here we have our spaghetti we have our beautiful white rice okay so let me show you how it goes here we have our mayonnaise just mayonnaise okay any type of mayonnaise fine you're gonna put a little bit of mayonnaise okay a little bit of mayonnaise. You're gonna bring it closer. We can get closer. So we have the shrimps. Please don't laugh at me. 
let's wrap this okay we'll be right back <laughs> all right guys look at that so amazing right it's so beautiful oh man my daughter's gonna have this one nicely wrapped this is what one of the things that uh pepper chicken and shrimp can go with okay now we're gonna go with this is spaghetti right here let me show you beautiful oh my god look at that wow guys i know this is gonna taste so good wow look at that let's get some peppers inside here beautiful colors nicely all right guys there you have it and let's see nice pepper shrimp and chicken that goes with practically anything you cannot go wrong guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share and become part of Ernestina's Kitchen's family. Also, please do not forget to put on your notification button. If you don't, you are not going to see future videos of Ernestina's Kitchen. So please, please, please make sure your notification buttons are on, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. God bless you guys. All. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.